<laughs> Do it again. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined with my boyfriend Tyson. Hello Adele, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very well. So in today's video, Tyson here is going to be rating my perfumes. Oh, what? You didn't tell me this. <laughs> what do you mean I didn't tell you this? Oh. Wasn't it in the uh, contract before you signed? Wow, signed contracts? Bloody hell, this is crazy. See, see guys, this, this is what I have to live with. I have to live with this guy. Yeah, it's pretty bad, really. <laughs> So the way this video is going to work is I have 10 perfumes in this bag. You haven't seen any of them, have you? Uh, apparently according to the contract, no, I have not. <laughs> no. So I'm going to give you one perfume at a time and you have to rate the fragrance out of 10. Do you yep. think you can do that? I'll give it a try. Do you have a copy of that contract handy by any chance? I'd love to see it. Uh, sorry, you already signed it so uh, you can't get out of this video. Just a bit of fun, you know? <laughs> so before we get started guys, if you are new to my channel and you've never seen my face before, feel free to click that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Also guys, if you haven't noticed, yes I cut my hair again, I cut it short and I'm loving it. Looks beautiful. <laughs> okay. So the first fragrance you are going to rate is Ari by Ariana Grande. Ariana. So they're rating amount of 10, are we? Yes. Yep, as per contractual description. What do you smell? Well, I smell, it smells fruity. Fruity? Well, very womanly. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a, I reckon seven and a half out of 10. Seven and a half out of ten. Yeah. That's not bad considering this is a very popular fragrance. It's very marshmallow cotton candy is what I pick up, but you pick up fruit notes, that's okay. I was leaning towards eight, but I don't know. I could get it a lot of high ratings, so <laughs> we'll see how we go. So there you go guys. First perfume, Ari by Ariana Grande. He rates a seven and a half out of ten. Next fragrance you are going to rate is Warm and Cozy by Victoria's Secret. <laughs> you like your fruity smells? Oh, I reckon, yeah, it's very sweet. Got a, a sweet scent to it. Oh, I'm gonna go probably. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go six and a half. <laughs> I'm just gonna do halves. Six and a half? You gotta give it a full rating. Alright, I'm, I'm going six then. Yeah, okay. let, let's just take the halves out of it, otherwise, I'm just gonna give everything up. So, this is very warm, cozy, as the name suggests. Got mm. a lot of coconut in it, and yes. And a lot of sugar in it as well. Very sugary. So, Warm and Cozy by Victoria's Secret is a six out of 10. The next fragrance you are going to be rating is Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. This one you actually bought with me, I believe, so. You oh. should know what it smells like. You should give a good rating then. Too bad. When did we buy this? What did it, what year was it? <laughs> we bought this when we went on the Tasmania cruise. That's going back. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We were in there for about three days trying to find the perfect perfume for you actually. <laughs> um, that one's nice. I'll give that one an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. That's a pretty good rating guys. So Better than a 7.5 and, and 6. Very floral, very, very mature. He gives this Victor and Ralph Flower Bomb a 8 out of 10. Okay, the next fragrance you're going to be rating is Victoria's Secret Before the Rain. Now, I have not actually worn this yet, so this is a first sniff for you. So, this is a bit of a surprise for both of us, is it? It is. You like a bit of Victoria's Secret? Are they sponsoring this video? No, they are not. 
not bad. Did you buy this in Tasmania as well? <laughs> no, I bought this one while I was in Melbourne. It's nice. I, I should be I should be reading those descriptions, but yes. it's it's quite misty. It's got a misty smell to it. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Lock it in, Eddie. Seven. He gives Victoria's Secret Before the Rain a seven out of ten very fresh scent. The next fragrance you are going to be rating is Replica by The Fireplace. Got a good feeling about this one. Do you? Yeah, I don't know. Just, just got a good oh feeling. god, I can already smell it and I haven't really even sprayed anything. Hopefully uh, that's a good sign. Oh god. Mm, well. Not much to this one. Really? Yeah, it just smells like... Uh, I'm trying to think of that... Uh, <laughs> that, I'm trying to think of that uh, soft drink that's just like brown. Uh, it sells like Sars Brella or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't like this one too much. I'm going to give it a five. I don't know if you'd... Yeah, I've gone five for that one. I actually believe this is a unisex smell. Yeah, it's pretty ordinary, unfortunately. Um, it's just no, nothing, nothing outstanding about it, so five. Replica by the fireplace, a five out of ten. And this one is actually quite expensive, so I'm surprised. Yeah, well, yeah. Don't always get what you pay for. It's meant to smell like. How do I describe this? It's meant to smell like the bark from the fireplace. Yeah, yeah, it just, uh, just didn't quite get me, so it must have been fruity enough. Oh, okay. The next fragrance you're going to be rating is the Nest Midnight Fleur. Sounds very even -y. Now, this doesn't have a spray, so mm. you're going to have to go by the roller bomb. So, just a bit of this. You can smell the roller bomb. My nose isn't working uh, super amazingly, but <laughs> quite floral, one might say, with all the flowers on it. Yeah, no, it is a decent scent. I'll give this one a 7 out of 10. Ladies and gentlemen. Midnight Fleur is one I like to wear in the summer evenings, and he gives Nest Midnight Fleur a 7 out of 10. I'm really looking forward to giving something like a 9 or a 10, so... I think I know what you'll eventually oh, give it to. Yeah, yeah. Probably, the best life, probably not this one. The next fragrance you're going to be rating is Midnight Fantasy by Britney Spears. Now, this is one of my personal favourites. Just leave Britney alone. <laughs> leave her alone. <laughs> This is one of oh. my personal favourites, so oh, don't be harsh. Good feeling. Neat, neat. Getting a good smell and good whiff of Brittany. <laughs> I'm gonna go a nine on that one. Oh, a nine out of ten. Love you, Brittany. Good work. Sour cherry really does it for this fragrance, so he gives. Midnight Fantasy by Britney Spears, a solid 9 out of 10. The next fragrance you're going to be rating is Sophia by Sophia Vergara. Who we all know and love from Modern Family. Couldn't get that for a second. Not bad, not too bad. Very flowery once again. Mature. It's good. I'll give this one an 8 out of 10. An 8? What, what, what do you give it out of 10? Uh, I'd probably give it maybe a 7 out of 10 to be completely honest for <laughs> well, myself. No, well, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> I do like wearing this in the winter. So, Sophia by Sophia Vergara gets a 8 out of 10. We have two more fragrances. The next fragrance you're going to be rating is Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla. Now, this one has been very popular recently. And I do like my vanilla ice cream, so it just goes along well with my personality. And I have recently been loving this fragrance recently. Ice cream. <laughs> um, yeah, as you would suggest, quite quite vanilla-y. Um, what, what, what other description, descriptive words have we got there? So we have whipped vanilla, soft cashmere, skin to skin. 
Yeah, well, I definitely wouldn't use those to describe, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it is quite. Yeah, plain. But, uh, plain. <laughs> <laughs> Vanilla plain. <laughs> plain. As okay. the line from Fifty Shades of Grey, what did you want again? A vanilla relationship? <laughs> mm, so, um, no, it is nice though. I, I, I do like the smell of vanilla and um, I like vanilla. Uh, what, what are they chucking? The vanilla essence or something? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, whatever that is into uh, a lot of cakes and stuff. But yeah, so I'll give that one an 8 out of 10. Um, yes, that's a nice one. Oh, Bare Vanilla being one of my favourites recently, even though I used to hate the smell of vanilla, but he gives Bare Vanilla a solid 8 out of 10. Look at this feeling you really like Victoria's Secret. <laughs> how many from Victoria's Secret went into a, a countdown? Oh god, you don't want to know how many I have from Victoria's Secret in my collection. <laughs> Can you just like use some of them first before you buy more? <laughs> <laughs> and the last fragrance you're going to be reviewing is probably one of my most expensive fragrances. This is Lancome La Vie Belle. Which stands for I love you very much. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of men actually love this fragrance. It's quite, quite swell. Very, um, yeah. Very neat. I like the word neat. <laughs> Gave that one, I reckon, a 9 out of 10. Oh my goodness. Is it supposed to be 10 out of 10? Probably. So he gives La Vie et Belle a 9 out of 10. Look at the case, it's like half the case is just like three times, like 66% of the case is just the actual structure and then you got 33% of it. <laughs> of the fragrance. Yeah, oh well, just well, not really efficient in my opinion, but it's fine. This is mainly one of my favourite evening fragrances. Special. So, out of all the fragrances I showed you today, which one would you recommend people go out and buy? Well, not the ones that I rated 6 out of 10, but... Uh, if you could choose your top three. I reckon the last one you just had there as well. La Vie Belle. Um, I like, did I like Sophia? And I like Brittany. Yeah. You liked Sophia? Yep, and... And... Did you hear that one? Nope. A bit of Brittany. So, the top three fragrances, as recommended by Mr. Tyson here, you ladies should go get is Lancome La Vie Belle, Sophia by Sophia Vergara, and Midnight Fantasy by Britney Spears. Yep, go Britney! Woo! So that is all for today's video, guys. Did you enjoy that? Uh, I do like smelling colognes and <laughs> perfume. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, there was... Um, one guy at the Able today had an absolutely incredible cologne on and he was running around, I don't know A, how it smelled so amazing and B, how the, the scent stayed for so long. So yeah, I do like smelling things, um, colo cologne especially and perfume. So. Do you know what it was? Did you um, ask? No, no, he was just, just kept him to himself. He, he had his earphones in and he was built like a brick house. So um, yeah, no, just a, just a footy bloke just having uh, having him run around the Oval. So yeah, it was, it was sensational there, by the way. Well, I think we'll have to try and track that scent down. <laughs> yes, yes please. Oh, so that's all for today's video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what your favourite fragrance is and also let us know if you'd like us to do a part two to this video because I have plenty more fragrances that you can rate. Yeah, you've seen about 12 or so today. There's about 700 in the, uh, the cupboard as well, so <laughs> there's, there's plenty more where that came from. I wouldn't sure. say there's 700 in there, so. Oh, I would personally, but uh, that's fine. Everyone's got their own opinion. <laughs> So that's all for today guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys have an amazing day and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!